A few weeks ago, I put out a video showing how to rank your local business in every neighborhood you want to target, even if you only got one Google business profile. Now, that video was mostly for those of you who travel to your clients, like plumbers, electricians, mobile therapists, you get the idea. But after that video went live, a bunch of you reached out and said, hey, what about us? We've got actual physical locations people can visit. So if that's you, Today is your day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build location pages, the kind Google still loves in 2025, especially if you've got physical stores, clinics, showrooms, or offices. These pages will help your business rank higher, attract more customers, and even give your Google business profiles a solid boost. If you're ready, let's dive in. All right, first things first, and this is a really important point. If you only have one physical location, there's no need to create a separate location page for it. Seriously, your entire website should be optimized around that one location. More specifically, the page you link to from your Google Business Profile plays a huge role in how well that profile ranks. So if you've got just one location, say you run a bridal shop in Wichita, then your homepage should be doing all the heavy lifting. That means your Google business profile should link directly to your homepage and your homepage should be clearly optimized for something like bridal shop Wichita. Not buried on some other random page. No need for extra fluff, just keep it focused and local. Location pages really start to matter once you've got more than one physical location and you want each one to show up when people search in different cities or neighborhoods. Let's say you run a barbershop like this one and business has been good. So good, in fact, that you've opened a few new branches across town over time. That's when location pages stop being optional and become absolutely essential. Here is why. When someone searches for your brand name in a specific area like People's Barber Auckland, Google's job is to show the most relevant results. Ideally, that would be a page on your site dedicated specifically to your Auckland location. But if you don't have that, Google might just show your homepage or worse, some random third-party listing like Yelp or a Facebook page. And that means you could lose out on potential customers just because Google didn't have the right page to pull from. And it's not just branded searches. Location pages also play a huge role in generic local searches. Like let's say someone is searching for barber near me or barbershop in Auckland. If you don't have a dedicated page for that specific area, your website won't show up in the organic results for it. Simple as that. But, and this might be the most important point of all, if you've created a Google business profile for each of your locations and you're linking each one to its own location page on your website, you're massively increasing your chances of showing up in the local map pack. Because like I mentioned earlier, the page your Google business profile links to is actually a ranking factor. So by giving each location its own optimized landing page, you're helping Google connect the dots, and that makes all the difference. But here is the thing, just creating a location page and slapping an address and opening hours on it, yeah, that's nowhere near enough to rank on Google or to actually convince someone to do business with you. If you want your location page to show up in search and turn visitors into actual paying customers, you're gonna need a tiny bit more firepower. So in the next part of this video, I'm going to walk you through the key elements every high performing location page should have. The stuff that helps boost your rankings, strengthens your Google business profile, and builds trust with people who land on your site. All right, let's break it down, starting with the basics. Make sure your URL includes the name of the location you want to rank for. Seems small, but it matters. Also, check your page title. I'm talking about the meta title here and your main header, your H1. Both should include the location name and your brand name. Why? Because it sends a super clear signal to Google about what the page is about and more importantly, where the business is located. Next up, you'll want to add your NAS details. That's your name, address, and phone number for that specific location. Don't forget the opening hours too. And the following part is crucial. Everything has to match exactly with your Google business profile for that location. Mismatched info? That's a fast track to confusing Google and losing trust points. Now, if you want to level things up a bit, here is a pro tip. Use local schema markup. 
I know it sounds techy, but it's a bit of code you add behind the scenes that tells search engines exactly what they're looking at. So instead of Google guessing what your page is about, you're basically saying, here is my business name, here is the phone number, here is the address, and here are the opening hours. And the clearer you are, the better Google understands and the more likely it is to reward you with better visibility. Now, when it comes to adding schema markup to your location page, here is the easiest way to do it. Just list out your business name, address, phone number, and opening hours. Then head over to ChatGPT and type something like create local business schema markup for the following info. Then copy your info. ChatGPT will generate the code for you. All you have to do is copy and paste it onto your location page. That's it. No guesswork, no coding skills needed. Another thing you don't want to skip, embed a Google Map directly from your Google Business Profile. Here is how you do it. Go to the Google Business Profile you're building the location page for. Click the little share icon, then choose Embed a Map. Copy the HTML code and paste it into your site. Simple. You'll even be able to choose the size that works best for your layout. And this isn't just for looks. Embedding that map actually helps in a bunch of ways. It builds trust instantly. People see the pin and it feels real. It's visual proof you're legit. It makes it easy for customers to find you. One click and they've got directions from Google Maps. No copy pasting, no friction. It reinforces your local relevance. Google sees that same info on your page and on your Google Business Profile, which helps confirm you're really tied to that location. And it keeps things consistent. And Google loves consistency. Matching info between your site and your profile equals more credibility and fewer ranking headaches. Now that you've got the basics locked in, it's time to move on to the meatier stuff, the editorial content. Start your page with a short intro that explains what your business offers and make sure it's optimized for the main keyword you're targeting. And here's a heads up. If you're building multiple location pages, it might seem easier to just copy and paste the same intro across all of them, but try to resist the temptation. Each page should have its own unique content. Repeating the same text over and over can actually hurt your rankings. Google wants to see that each page brings something original to the table. If you offer multiple services, let's say you run a beauty salon offering things like hair removal, eyelash extensions, facials or massages, don't just list them all in one big block. Instead, highlight your most popular services right on the location page and make sure to link each one to a dedicated service page. And yes, I really hope you've already created those individual service pages. If not, that should be next on your to-do list. Why? Because this not only helps your visitors find exactly what they're looking for, but it also gives Google more specific content to index, which can seriously boost your chances of ranking for more keywords. Use the same technique if you're offering products instead of services. It works just as well. It's a win-win, better user experience and better SEO. Add customer reviews. All right, let's talk about customer reviews. I know this isn't something you want to skip. Be honest, when you're checking out a new business, what's the first thing you do? Scroll straight to the reviews, right? Well, guess what? your potential customers are doing exactly the same thing. So if you've got great reviews on your Google business profile, don't just let them sit there gathering digital cobwebs. Grab a few of the best ones tied to that specific location and drop them onto your location page. Or better yet, use a widget that pulls them in automatically from your Google profile or wherever your fans are showing you love. It keeps your page fresh, builds instant trust, and Google eats that stuff up. It's basically saying, look, people already trust us. Maybe you should too. Show off your team. Now, here is something brick and mortar businesses can really lean into your team. Unlike service area businesses where no one really sees who's behind the scenes, physical locations usually have dedicated staff. So, why not show them off? Add a few friendly mock shots, throw in a short bio, maybe mention what they specialize in, whether it's skill customer service, skincare magic, or making cupcakes like a champ. 
adding real faces to your location page builds trust like nothing else. It makes your business feel approachable and human, not just another logo on the internet. People are way more likely to reach out, call or drop by when they can see who they'll be dealing with. Plus it reinforces that local vibe, sets you apart from the competition and makes you way more memorable. Bottom line, team photos equals more credibility, more conversions, and customers who feel way more comfortable getting in touch. Link to other locations. Another quick win for you. If you've got more than one location, link them together. Let's say you've got a branch in downtown Chicago and another one in Chinatown. Don't keep them isolated. Add a little section on each location page that says something like, looking for another nearby spot? check out our Chinatown location. Not only is that super helpful for your customers, but it also gives Google more ways to crawl and connect your pages. Plus, and this is important, when you mention other nearby cities or neighborhoods in your content, it sends local signals to Google. You're basically saying, hey, we're active in this whole area, not just one tiny corner. It boosts your local relevance, helps your pages get found more easily, and just makes your site stronger overall. So yeah, cross-link those locations. It's an easy win. And last, but definitely not least, visuals. Don't just drop a wall of text on your location page and call it a day. That's a one-way ticket to people clicking away. You've got to make it easy on the eyes. Break things up with images or videos if you have any. But here's the key, make sure those visuals actually relate to your location or the main service you're offering. Show off the outside of your store, the inside vibe, the team in action, or even a recognizable landmark nearby so people instantly know they're in the right place. It not only makes your page more inviting, but it also helps build trust and familiarity before someone ever walks through the door. Oh, and don't forget to add those images or tags. It's a tiny tweak, but it gives your SEO a little extra boost. Every bit counts. If you can include most of what we've talked about so far, your location pages will start climbing the ranks like there's no tomorrow. But hey, if you really want to go the extra mile and leave your competitors in the dust, here are a few more things you can add that are not only super helpful for your customers, but also help turn your page into a true local authority. Parking info. Let people know where they can park, how much it costs, if anything, and whether it's easy to find. It takes the stress out of the visit. Accessibility details. Ramps, lifts, wide doors. If your location is accessible, say it. It's thoughtful and can make a big difference. Pet friendliness. If furry friends are welcome, let people know. Pet owners will love you for it. Special offers at this location. Got a deal that only applies to this branch? Highlight it. It gives people the reason to choose that location. Awards or recognition. Any local awards or best of titles? Brag about them a little. It builds trust and credibility. Other helpful info. Anything unique about the location, a cool mural, cozy waiting area, free Wi-Fi, mention it. These little touches stand out. Remember, the more useful, relevant, and personal your page is, the more both your customers and Google will love it. One last tip before you go. When you're writing your content, make sure it's not just optimized for Google search, but also for AI results. Tools like Google's AI overviews and ChatGPT are now showing more and more local businesses in their answers, which means if you're not thinking about AI, you're already falling behind. So if you want to learn how to get your business showing up in AI-powered search results, go ahead and watch this video next. I'll walk you through exactly what to do.